Hey, what's up? This is Laid Back Luke, DJ and producer, Kung Fu athlete, and dedicated dad. It's the end of 2019, and what a year it has been again. I can't wait to show you all of it in this vlog. But first, I have three live DJ mixes up for you right now. It's a 2019 Mix Mash year mix. It's the 15 years of Mix Mash celebration mix. And my full Avicii tribute concert DJ mix is online as well. So these are all sets that are completely different, completely different emotions as well. And make sure to check them out if you're interested. Links down below. Okay, so here we go. Just before the holidays, the 2019 wrap up. Shout out to my mom for all these Christmas decorations out here in the Netherlands. 2019 is nearly over. I can't believe it. Time went by too fast this year. If you felt that too, make sure to give me a like right now or just leave something in the comments. This was the year when we developed Mixmash Outlines. And what Mixmash Outlines stands for is the clothing line that we took a level up this year. And all shout outs go to the team for designing this and putting this out there. This right here was my favorite piece of clothing that came out this year. The Farsity jacket, the Mixmash varsity jacket absolutely a highlight for this year and i actually kind of want to talk to you about my personal highlights this year as well obviously the big one asking my ashley for a hand in marriage ashley and i will get married in the new year and we will absolutely keep you posted it's been a good year for my kung fu as well a couple of my online students got grades this year and they'll still go up and up and up and up i taught kung fu seminars in miami at Tomorrowland and at Amsterdam, a dance event as well. I've been doing Kung Fu with my online students as well. And I actually, I love coming out and training with you guys. If you're interested in becoming a laid back look fit, make sure to hit me on my Kung Fu email. I won't listen to any demos there. This is just for fitness. And speaking of courses, this was the year I finally put out an online DJ course with digital DJ tips. This took us a full week of recording in the summer. I saw the guys every single day of the week and we spent at least 10 to 12 hours in the studio every day recording this gigantic course for you. Happy to say the majority of you enjoy taking DJ lessons from me. So the course was an absolute success and stay tuned because there will be more for the new year. A breakthrough in mental health this year. Obviously, I've been enjoying my one day off per week, my one day of Sabbath still. And tying into that was something that not necessarily uh, you, my viewers, enjoyed, but I absolutely did was moving my vlog from a weekly vlog to a two weekly vlog, which freed my one week up for me to actually focus on making music again. I had to step back for a moment and really think, you know, I am actually a DJ and producer and what I love, what my core thing is and what I do is actually making music. So I've been enjoying that this year, more about that later in the vlog. But this gives me a nice moment to give you, the viewer, a shout out. Here's a shout out to the number one and two comment from last time's vlog, my producer tutorial vlog on how I made my new track. Davey Boy on the number two comment and AJ Leo on the number one comment saw a ton of appreciation in the comments for a producer tutorial. Very happy you guys enjoyed. Okay, back to the vlog. Let's talk about shows. I'm gonna tell you about my number one show this year, but first I wanna talk to you about Miami Winter Music Conference 2019, where Mix Mash took over again. We had this amazing back-to-back. -back. Shout out to my fellow DJs coming out and playing with me, and the party stopped where the Denon players went viral all of a sudden because the amount of water that came out of the players and they were still working was absolutely incredible. A year full of Mix Mash takeovers. We took over the Perucaville stage again over in Amsterdam during Amsterdam dance event. We're currently here in December and I can't believe that was already two months ago. 2019 has flown by. Big shout out to Tomorrowland One World Radio for having me DJ at their top 1000 countdown. Six hours of being in the mix, counting down the classics with Tomorrowland 
It was an incredible experience. And so speaking of Tomorrowland, my number one show this year was Tomorrowland Main Stage, without a doubt. Yeah, this was perfect. And I always call one show of the year the number one show of the year. And for 2019, this was my Tomorrowland main stage set. One of the things that happened in 2019, which went viral, and especially amongst the DJs, was the Face app. Man, these photos have scarred me for life. Absolutely. I uh, kind of never want to grow old, but then Tomorrowland did this for me. So this took a couple of hours, but was hilarious to do. Just a little side thing on the social media. Yeah. I'm getting too old for this. But in my household, sometimes I'll tell uh, Ashley or my daughter, I'm, I'm getting too old for this. And so now it's time for me to call out my number two show of the year. I'm going to take you out to the Avicii tribute concert in Stockholm. 60,000 people. Let's go. We're right here in Stockholm, Sweden. Super excited to be here. Today is an exciting day. It's the Avicii tribute concert, but there's a problem I'm dealing with. Okay, so it's 60,000 people in a stadium today, but we got some orders from the promoter, some restrictions on what to play today. So at the end of the night, there's a big band coming and this is a dream come true for Tim because he always wanted to perform his music with a big band, but this band, uh, is performing this track list tonight and as you can see there is pretty much all the Avicii tracks in there that you know of him and so it is logical that they said to us DJs please do not play any tracks from this playlist and so what's left right so all the DJs only have half an hour to play and so I've been looking at making a, a playlist or searching for tracks that go around that band playlist and to see if I can still make a tribute to Avicii by not using his greatest hits. Let's dive into Engine Prime right now and I'll show you. And I can't lie, it, it's tough for me to compile a playlist like this, keeping Avicii in mind. And I know tonight is going to be very emotional. So you see the other tracks I have on here. Stadium crowd pleasers like Don't You Worry Child and the Armin Van Buren track I wanted to... This is, this is what it feels like. I played this back at the house uh, last night and I thought about Tim and uh, I cried. I cried. I think I'll do... The same in the stadium. And I can't help but wearing this tonight. I gotta give a shout out to my lovely fiance Ashley for making this for me. Look, it has my logo on the back as well. Avicii forever. We miss you, Tim. And so it's going to be big. It's going to be emotional. And I'm actually going to try and find out how the other DJs coped with this, how they handled this restriction. And I'm excited. So I have nothing planned. I'll go with the flow. And I'm excited to show you and take you with me. Let's go. found right here David Guetta himself I have a question about the track list today because I've been explaining my viewers about the tracks I can't play today which how do you do a Avicii tribute without playing Avicii tracks right I don't know what I'm gonna do to be honest I was I was like oh my god I need to redo my entire set 
because I've been working uh, to prepare mashups b between my records and Avicii's records, some records we made together. But you know, I wanted to to make uh, to make it a special Avicii night. But do you know what you're gonna do? Well, I already played. Oh, you played already. I, kinda, I got almost got kicked off the stage tonight. <laughs> really? Crazy. Come on, you make it more dramatic than it is. Come on. But what I did, I, I played some like teasers, almost like if, as if you do a warm up set, right? With some. Oh, here's Avicii. No, there's not. Anyway, I think for a stadium, this guy has enough hits that he could, you know... Make yeah, but, but I don't feel like doing a normal David Guetta set. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, well, uh, David, uh, right here in his dressing room, he has his laptop set up. Uh, time is uh, wasting away. I think he'll be fine. Uh, so good luck. Thank you, man. Thank you. Okay, so here with Kaigo. We have a problem in my vlog today, uh, and this is the track list that we got before the show, and we couldn't play Avicii yeah, tracks. I know, I know. How did you do that? I played Broken Arrows because it wasn't in the set list. So, uh, but yeah, we originally weren't allowed to play any Avicii tracks, but which was hard because that's what I wanted to play. You know, yeah, it's and a I tribute, guess we right? as well. Yeah, I guess I do understand that because they're doing a lot of these versions now in the actual show and if every, you know, there was like six, seven DJs, if every DJ was playing, you know, the biggest songs, I guess, I guess it makes sense. And so the vibe was great and everything? It was great, it was yeah. great. The vibe is it's, awesome. It's right. emotional and it's, uh, I think it's, it's, a, it's a great, it's great that they're doing this. Oh, so we were all fine, I was all fine. The vibe was amazing, the crowd was amazing, the band was amazing, so many people that came out. The one person that really was missing was Tim, of course. You know, I, I imagined him coming out of the roof uh, at a certain point during the show, but obviously he didn't. Tim, we miss you. Thank you so much for having me. Back to you, Luke. Thank you, Luke. And so now it's time for us to talk about 2019 and what I did in music. The big one for me was my collaboration with Keanu Silva called Oh Yes. We brought my classic Rocking With The Best back and we shot a video clip for it uh, in Miami during Winter Music Conference. We got a ton of support on it. Shout out to everyone that put it in their playlist. And another big one musically, it was my official remix for Avicii. SOS, an emotional remix, actually a tribute remix where I figured it was almost as if Avicii was uh, looking over my shoulder as I wheeled in the stems. And so I channeled him throughout the remix and I wanted to do this absolutely perfectly for all the Avicii followers out there. So I, I took his older style, you know, levels meets my feelings for you, that type of vibe in there. And it got a ton of support and I am super thankful to be part of this this year. Can you hear me? And then we had my collab with Mark Bale as well that got an, a huge amount of support by Tiesto and other DJs, a uh, dance floor destroyer. I'm the party starter, everybody let's go. Twisted House track, which to celebrate the release of my collab with Pyrodox, Keep On Rocking, I put another Twisted House compilation DJ mix out on Apple Music. We put a remix contest out. We had a ton of people competing in this remix and we just released the, the remix pack with the winning remixes of the Keep On Rocking remixes. So don't go anywhere. I have a little piece of vlog to show you, uh, which I recorded uh, during the Mix Mash 15 year anniversary in Amsterdam, which ties nicely into the release of the 15 years of Mix Mash remix album. With the release, we have four bonus remixes from Dash Berlin, Unity, the legendary Carter and the bingo players on the remix as well. And I'm super excited to release this and conclude such a big year for the label with this album. Okay, so it's out right now on all platforms and on all portals. Make sure to check the link down below. All right, and so now it's time to talk about production in 2019. This year was one of the biggest revolutions I had in the decades of my producing. And it is all thanks to Pyrodox and the vlog I shot with Pyrodox this year. We put it out there for the world to see. I adapted these methods and like after summer in the last part of 2019, I started to produce with it and man, whoo, 
Woo! The first track you heard from me where you can hear this new method is the my official remix for Knife Party and Harrison Death and Desire. I don't know if you can notice it, but this really is a, a step up in my production. And so the next track is the one that's out right now, which is my collaboration with Unity. Make that thing go is another one. Don't stop, we gonna make the thing go. Another one with that crisp, clean, big sound, sounding amazing in the clubs. And there's so much more to come. Actually, a big studio moment this year for me was my uh, studio sessions in London, where I made this track with Samson. Won't you come my way? Cause I see you stay. Oh, I know you're watching me, 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 me. Won't you come my way? I also made a collaboration with Carla Munro. And all of these are sneak previews for 2020. The one with Samson is going to be the release after my Unity collab that's out right now. And so now you just heard a little, so it's going to be a little bit poppier. I've been releasing a lot of dance floor tracks. There will be more dance floor tracks after that. Uh, actually, this week I finished off my new collaboration with Mark Bale, which is going to be amazing Twisted House again. And throughout the year, we've been teasing you with uh, all the remixes of my classics in celebration of the Mix Mash 15 year anniversary, which we finally officially celebrated in Amsterdam at our headquarters where we had an exclusive party. I'll take you there for the moment. Okay, so we're here at the 15 years of Mix Mash celebration. I am here to mix my year mix live, but I'm gonna do a 15 years Mix Mash classic celebration as well. And today it's a little bit different because we have a boiler room type of setup here with all these people, holla! So I'm excited, I'm gonna mix all of this live. It's probably online right now. Um, yeah, let's go in. Fifteen years of Mix Mash, I, I can't even believe how time flies. I remember releasing the, the first release and it was just only my manager and I running the label. Right now we have eight people handling the label. The team did an, an amazing job this year and I'm super excited for the next 15 years. Let's see what 2020 brings first. So I'm excited. I'm excited for a brand new year. I can't thank you enough for the support you've given me this year and let's keep on going. Let's keep on enjoying dance music. Let's keep on putting comments down below. You know, I uh, always read those. This keeps me in touch with you as well. Hit me up on the social media, obviously. Twitter, I still respond. Instagram, I'll still try and be in the comment section as well. But I'm excited. 2020, if you're excited as well, make sure to give me a like right now and let's go for it. And let's go ahead and end this year with a bang. I have a bunch of shows lined up. Tonight I'll be playing at the Landmark in McAllen in Texas. And then for Boxing Night, December 26th, I'm back in Liverpool to play at DoD and Friends Mission Nightclub in New York City on December 27th. And then concluding this year with a Strictly Techno set in San Francisco on December 31st. Am I seeing you anywhere? Do you have any plans for the holidays? Make sure to leave them down below in the comments. And what's your highlight of 2019? I'm curious to read this as well. Okay, so next time's vlog, I'll be taking you through a decade of laid back loop music. What did you miss ever since 2010 up until now? And some exclusive anecdotes behind the tracks as well. So if you don't wanna miss out, hit that subscribe button right now and I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, L's up, rave safely and salute.